Hello, it's December 9th. Welcome to another Daily Tarot Read. I'm going with the first thing that sort of pulls my attention. Here we got Moonology deck. Navigating by the stars, by the moon. Let's figure out more so just the moon here with this deck. Step out of your comfort zone. There's North Node. New Moon Capricorn. Your hard work is paying off. A time for healing. Balsamic Moon. Look at the purples. A lot of purple. You gonna focus? Purple is wisdom, intuition. What else is purple? Hmm. So I guess today's today's read is going to be about taking some extra extra self care while working towards something important. something important for you that is uncomfortable but necessary. That's what I see. So in some ways, because there's like extra self-care involved, that's that can be seen as extra work, like you need to be diligent in self-care. Um, self-care isn't a passive, uh, relaxing state. It is, um, it's a conscious allowing and awareness for what your needs are in the moment. So that's, that's the new moon in Capricorn right there is, is saying your hard work is paying off, but that doesn't mean take your foot off the gas. It's saying keep going. Keep going. You are moving. You are moving into a new place. You're manifesting something new based on some healing that's going on here that could be very uncomfortable. I officially ordered my second edition Northern Animal Tarot deck yesterday. I couldn't, um, I couldn't resist. So I'll be getting that in February. Uh, they are on Kickstarter if you want to get your own um, anthropomorphic Rider weight inspired tarot. Come on now, look at all these like extra special cards. It supports a local, <laughs> local. They're from Canada. But supports a small business, and if if you um, wi Wilder Studios, Wilder Heart Studios is the name of the company. If you just go to their website and read about like what they believe in and what they care about, it's it's such a no brainer to go support them and get these custom artist decks when you can. All right. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Or not. Wow, the star and the moon. Let's just let's get it all out. So you're showing up as the Ace of Cups, someone who feels ready for a new opportunity, you know, love opportunity possibly here, dealing with the Two of Swords, as in 
somebody not accepting this. Somebody. I'm thinking of a song lyric right now. It goes like, where do I put the ocean? Like this amount of feeling. Where do I put the ocean? No clue. No clue. The Ace of Cups meeting the Two of Swords. Two of Swords being like, I don't want to know. I'm not here for it. I can't take this. I can't accept this energy right now. They can't accept this love. And I have the Three of Pentacles here as sort of like the challenge card. It tells me that there's something in the environment, in the community, in the environment that's causing this sort of this like third party energy exterior. Well, how you got here, the King of Wands, the King of Wands, the highest of the wands, an inspirational leader, seeing the needs of everyone around you, sort of like understanding your needs and, and the needs of others and that this being some very inspiring in some way. By the way, we have underneath the Page of Swords, which is the hero of the tarot and somebody who uh, wants to sort of willingly and uh, bravely um, wants to go and slay the dragon, so to speak. Someone who's like willing to take on this challenge. Someone, someone who's willing to take on the challenge of the two or swords. So I, I don't think that this person, whoever is this ace of cups right now, is not dissuaded by somebody's uh, inability <laughs> to accept this love. I don't know if it's worthwhile to, well, I don't know if I should say that. Like, yeah, I was gonna say if it's worthwhile to give, to show love when it's not reciprocated, but I feel like that is the ultimate healing is to show love regardless if it's reciprocated, sort of like love for all. When one is healed, all are healed. If you are able to show love towards others, regardless of what they have done to you or regardless of what's going on around you, let look at this, let the healing be pulled to the surface. Let the intentions be the healing I love, I freaking love this deck. Oh, it's so beautiful. The star and the moon. The moon is all about like what pulls you right now. Something either needing to be released or something. Um, it's also um, riding the wave of the unknown. And then, so then right after that was the, uh, the four of wands this desire for stability, a happy home, um, being in the flow and in the energy of everything around you in harmony, in harmony. The moon, riding the wave of the unknown to this very happy, stable place. Look at the um, mirroredness, mirroredness, the uh, symmetry, thank you, symmetry of these cards both of them together. <laughs> you know, this sort of tells me that it's, um, if someone here is focused on their own healing and that's, that's, it's taking you, that's what's taking you out of your comfort zone is showing somebody love. It doesn't have to be romantic love. I'm just like showing somebody that you care, um, that you're trying. It's not because you want them to behave a certain way towards you. It's, it's because this is for your own healing. This is what's coming here. But in a way, by healing yourself from, from some previous um, re relationship or situation that didn't work, um, if you heal yourself from it, the, the other is also healed then um, somehow. You're able to show like, look, I've moved on. Look at this. And we have here in the outcome, the Two of Wands, Eight of Wands. The Two of Wands is about uh, 
planning. It's about taking a step forward. This desire for growth, eight of wands, something happening very quickly. The moment you start to look out beyond what has happened, things can move on very quickly. Then we have the Knight of Swords, yes. Really, really activating healing suddenly. Very suddenly. So if this is resonating for you and you're dealing with, with a person who's sort of putting up these two of swords while you are expressing this uh, care, this um, you're putting in the effort here, um, do recognize this is, you know, everyone is in a state of healing. Um, whether they, they're doing work on it or not, but at each, each person at their own pace. <laughs> Some people might be doing the Knight of Swords approach and some people might be doing the Four of Swords approach, which is, this is more about meditation, taking the time out. And the Knight of Swords is about taking action. It's like learning something new and now moving forward. It's about more about incorporating the lesson and integrating it versus, it's just a different stage different stage of healing and, and moving on, I'll say. Um, and for you, showing up as the Ace of Cups, you're somewhere in between there. You're at the Page of Swords where like, you have this idea of like how things can be, how things can move forward. I think that you are really encouraged here to move forward and to look for things that deeply inspire you to find that direction, that north node direction, stepping out of your comfort zone. Um, if you ever have a thought that comes into your mind of like, oh, maybe this is something I'd like to do, and then your reaction is, oh, but that terrifies the shit out of me. Like, why would I do that? I think it's because it terrifies you, you have to do it. Or you're called to do it. I'm not saying you have to do anything. If you let your mind step out of the box entirely and, ex and, and let, that, let that idea stand, as a, stand alone as a possible truth, then imagine how many more things could possibly be true if you allow them to be. Ace of Cups, please. Let's clarify the Ace of Cups. King of Pentacles. Yep. Looking for some sort of stability and a connection. You're you you have done enough healing to at least approach the situation from a place of a wanting now wanting to be generous with with where you've gotten to at this point. The two of swords, please. Yeah, and then this two of swords person, the situation is still very much in their on their own journey. This is the hermit. They've got their own work to do. They, this is why they're not accepting your help, because they have to do it themselves. Three of Pentacles, please. Queen of Cups. Hmm. So the challenge here is to some is to somehow not let this throw you off. Like stay stay connected to like your true feelings about the situation, whatever that is for you. Intuitively, you know this. Like you know the energies from your end, how you really feel, and the possible energies from from the other end. Like I think you understand sort of what's going on on, on both sides of it. That's why the three of pentacles is here you may or may not be actively working with this person, like a coworker or something, or maybe you know them from work or you have done something together that brings some sort of understanding. Like there's some kind of history here that, that makes you understand deep down that this is sort of like a necessary butting of heads at this time. Like you know why your energies don't match up. 
the star. Justice. Things coming into balance. The moon. Please. Uh-huh. And the four of swords. I mean, four of uh, wands. The star, the moon, and the four of wands is clarified by justice, the ten of wands, and the nine of wands. <laughs> this has to do with some kind of lesson that hasn't been learned. This has to do with some sort of pattern. Uh, so one or both of you have not learned this lesson, learned some kind of lesson because you're not totally seeing the path forward. You're not acknowledging your own stability, your own what make, you know, the thing that's gonna make you feel happy and stable. You're not actually going for it. it I think it, it either terrifies you more to acknowledge that, or you're simply in a fog. There might be some overwhelm happening. Cause again, then I see that the 10 of wands as burden. Um, what really wants to happen is healing and balance, really coming through. Libra, Aquarius, Pisces energy, Virgo. Well, we got a lot of zodiacs here. But there is there is way too much going on to even see this lesson right in front of you. I feel like this is the other person. This is whatever situation you're dealing with. They are overwhelmed, overwhelmed. Let's move on. Two of, two of wands. Uh huh. Eight of wands. Doing all the last, the last four here. Mm-hmm. And then finally, page of swords. So the Two of Wands and the Eight of Wands is clarified by the Six of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. First of all, I see a sort of like a transmuting, tr transmuting, transmutating, transmuting of fire into earth a little bit because we got the wands and then we got pentacles showing up. Somebody here wants to take some wants to be more practical um, because we have justice and the six of pentacles. It's all about equal give and take and reciprocity. I feel like this situation can only move forward once there's equal give and take. That's what's sort of showing up. Um, the message then that wants to come in is, is the queen of pentacles about, I mean, see the king showed up here before, earlier too. Well, so the king of the king of pentacles was the clarifying card over you, the um, the ace of cups. So if you're resonating with here with the ace of cups, we the king is there, and now the queen is here. Hmm. I do feel like there's a third person's energy in here. I mean, it's the Three of Pentacles and then this Queen of Cups, like, this could be you knowing. Knowing, like, the deep the deep intuition there. See the symbols on her cup? I believe this is also the sign of the High Priestess. I think that shows up on her 
card as well where she's um, and like her crown of stars is connected to the heavens. This is almost telling me sort of like some sort of like emotional manipulation or something is, is challenging here. Someone's being Eek. Let's not focus on that, but like, if that resonates for you, there you go. Um, but if we're following that train of thought for a second, where you're the king and there's this queen of pentacles shows up, it's like, as soon as you've, uh, you've got to balance out your cups here. If you are over giving in a situation, I think the moment that you take a step back and give just as much as you're receiving. Like once the scales can balance out of equal give and take, once you give this person, the situation enough space to step up and move towards you, it can quickly manifest into something more stable and real. The queen of pentacles is all about living the manifestation. So whatever it is you're really hoping for here in the situation that feels like it's a bit stuck um, it's not because you're not doing the work. You're clearly doing the work. You're stepping out of your comfort zone. The hard work is paying off, but it is also a time for healing. So you cannot, you cannot force or rush healing. I think this is a time for you to just um, sort of like recommittal. You just keep um, doing the work, keep showing the universe that this is really, really what you want um, and give yourself this energy Give yourself this energy that you're trying to put into the situation. That's the equal reciprocity. Give yourself just as much as you're giving others, if not more. Like whatever, there's gotta be a balance here. If you're over giving others, if you're, uh-huh. This is meant for you. All this extra energy you're finding, this love that you have, um, it's for you. I think you should give it to yourself first. Then the Knight of Swords, the Knight of Swords and the Four of Swords, remember this was like the two sort of approaches towards the healing we have clarified by the Six of Wands and the Fool. I think people are going to notice you acting different, you acting new. Once they realize you're a different person, they're gonna to have to treat you differently. You might be inspiring others to um, start their own healing journeys. Now that they know, once they know and see other people sort of doing it around them, then other people sort of pick up on it. This is what, this is like, I love this idea of like, one is healed, all are healed, because like we, we make waves, we make gentle waves amongst each other. And then so finally the Page of Swords, which was underneath it, was clarified by the Autumn card. The Autumn card. So, you know, within healing, like, so the Page of Swords, I take it as like this new knowledge, right? The swords are cognitive. If you're learning something about yourself um, that's new or, you know, or accepting some sort of new truth about yourself, some things are also splintering away, like the dead leaves that fall off trees, like old things shave away, splinter away. And so we do have to grieve the process of those things falling away and like changing us and like ego deaths happening over time. I think that's what happens the more you step into North Node, you know, step out of your comfort zone, North Node, this is like your mission and your purpose in life. The more aligned you are with this, the more you will realize that these old things don't serve you anymore. So you're, you're, you're having to let them fall away and you know this. There is a practice of acceptance here. There's gotta be a lot of gratitude and acceptance for this journey here. That is radical self-care when you can accept your journey, when you can accept the things that you're going through are for your, for your growth. 
This is not a time to give up, but again, to just sort of recommit and recommit to this healing. It's uncomfortable. <laughs> Maybe you're going through the same freaking lesson over and over again. Oh man. When will you learn? You could say, you know, if you want to make this real, I think it's, this is all about changing your behaviors. So do physical, practical things to make sure you are on the right track. So what does that mean? That could mean like doing some like uh, passion planning, like where do I want to be a month from now? Like really just get your, if you can get your mind um, out of, you know, your current present state or whatever, if you're feeling this inspiration, get your mind out into the future and then start and then make a concrete plan about how to get there. This screams like New Year's resolution hardcore. So you know what they say about New Year's resolutions. You like, you know, at the beginning of each year or at the end of each year, you sort of assess, harvest. You harvest and assess like everything that you've been through, what you've accomplished this year. Um, have gratitude for that. But we're all, we're all focused on, on changing in the new year. There's like a new, a new energy. I love the fool. He doesn't, he doesn't have any of the same constraints that he does in his day-to-day -day life. So that's why I'm thinking, if you can imagine your life without any of the current constraints that you have, <clears throat> the apartment, the bills, um, you know, your pets, your family, partners, resources, like just blank slate, blank slate yourself for a second. Like, where would you be? Who, who are you and what would you be doing? And pour that ace of cups into You have these energies going for you right here. The King of Wands and the Ace of Cups. Extremely inspired. Having a lot of like emotional energy. Balancing that is, yes, being generous with others, but be just as generous with yourself towards this new life. And situationally, like if this person I don't even know if you got to worry about this other situation because it's it, it's very it's very much showing up that this person's doing a lot of uh, inner work. I don't really think that they're affecting you right now. But sometimes it is good to know sort of you know what 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 is on your mind. So um, have nothing but love and gratitude for for that situation as you move forward doing your own thing that's the best you can do and that's what i got today all right hope you enjoyed the reading thank you so much for being here have a good day